I'm looking at the Ray Stitz Sky Baby. I want to just, even though I took pictures, I want to take a video. The key thing is, look at the slots in the wing. Look at the front wing right there. You'll see there's a slot. And then if you look at the top, there's a slot on the bottom. But then if you look carefully at the slot on the top wing, is in a different spot. Very interesting. It's as though the air comes through the bottom and exits the top. I'm not sure why. Maybe that's for stability. But yeah, the flaps are at the top. They have Thaler flap hinges too. And of course the ailerons are at the bottom. The door is hinged in two places. And then you have, of course, the tail wheel on the back. There's the crossbars in the cockpit, particularly in the front, and there's one that also runs right along the frame where the window is. You can see it looks like almost like a round dowel. The blue interior. And the cowling itself, you can see it encompasses a very large portion of the front and then goes around the leading edge of the uh, wing and then goes underneath the fuselage and terminates right at about the landing gear from what I can see here just a little after the leading edge. Whoops, right down there. There's a great shot of the landing gear as well. You can see it there. It looks like it's all one piece. It's not aluminum. Notice the push rod there. One the aileron in the bottom and it looks like the push rod for the flaps is internal. And of course we'll pan around we'll zoom back a little bit so you can see the cowling. Notice there's also tie downs right there that's what those little loops are. But what's interesting is the slots on the bottom wing as you'll notice here, are in the same spot as the slots on the top. This is the bottom wing, whereas the, whereas the top wing, it's different. They're, they're further, closer to the leading edge on the bottom, and then as shown previously, they're further away from the leading edge on the top of the wing. Not sure why. pretty much it. So there's only a door on this side, but no door on the opposite side. And back a little bit. This is the right side of the aircraft. There's an exhaust there. You can see that silver hole. That is the exhaust. And it uses a pull pull for the rudder. No struts. And it looks like the push rod for the uh, elevator is internal. I'm not seeing any, any external push rods of any kind. No, I take it back. There isn't one single external push rod right here. As you can see, I can brighten that up a little bit, but it's difficult to see. There's one single external push rod on the elevator, but there is not one on the other side. It's a little difficult to see. The lighting is not the best. But uh, anyway, but you can see just beneath that, the exit there on the top at the bottom portion is for the rudder, and then the one beneath below that one, that is the exit for the pool pool for the steerable tail wheel. So the tail wheel itself is not connected to the rudder, it has a separate pool pool system. It has a separate pool pool system for the uh, tail wheel. So, there you go. I think that's it. 
once again, here's a shot of the bottom portion of the wing. As you can see, let me pan back a little bit. There's the pedo tube right there, that little white tube coming out. And you can see what it says in case you're looking for the graphics. Now on the bottom of the wing, let me see if I can get a better shot of the bottom wing. Here's the bottom wing portion of the wing itself. And you can see the lettering as well with the end number. And that's it.